Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to your featured game of the day, Puck Buddies in Pink versus Puck University in Brown. I'm your host, Jason Stitcher. I'm joined by my color commentator, Suds. Suds, how are you doing today? Great, Jason. How about you? Oh, look at this. Early breakaway oh, by Jake dude. Ruby results in a goal. Not Didn't five, even take five seconds. Not five seconds into the game, Jake Ruby wins the yeah. faceoff and scores. I we agree. With it. It's like four and a half, right? Officially. I was I was barely done with my intro when that happened. <laughs> how how rude of Jake Ruby. I think Ruby. it's gonna be unassisted. You agree with that? I think it's unassisted. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I believe the call is Jake Ruby unassisted. And what a way to stop <laughs> what a way to start the game, Suds. Uh, this is Corey. expected oh. to be a, a prime matchup between yes. two quality teams and you saw it right there expect more of those types of goals to happen apps this should be again uh, a game with a lot of goals a lot of goal scoring here a lot of high power both ends out there puck university uh, and uh puck buddies neither team has lost this season so far they both have tied but no one has lost yet so this is gonna be a great game to watch yeah, absolutely a couple shots there by puck university one hits off don rada the other hits off the post another shot by jake ruby and a shot by brad and that is the second goal of the game. Two goals in under a minute. And it, that puts that puts Puck Puck Buddies up. Is there a timeout by Puck University? No timeout yet? No, no timeout. So they gotta go with the flow. Uh, but you're right, that's just the speed, the pure raw speed and skill of the Puck Buddies. Two goals within 58 seconds. Jake creating both goals. And right off the bat, Puck University is in a hole. Right, I believe Brad will be credited with the Correct. second goal, but Jake Ruby putting the initial shot on net and uh, creating the rebound that just went right to Brad, and he's able to hammer it home for the second tally of the game. Another shot by Puck U. A couple great saves there by Sean Rada. He's able to cover it up and force the whistle. Sean Rada has been tested early as well. We've seen a bevy yes. of shots with barely a minute and a half to play. We've always saw like four or five scoring quality scoring checks on both sides already. You know, less than two minutes in the game out there, so expect more if the game continues as well too. Absolutely. And as uh oh, you, uh oh. Another Jake here Ruby go. breakaway here opportunity here. Shot saved by Jason Stelter. Jake Ruby takes a spill. Rebound is still there though. He picks up his stick and puts another shot on net. It, is stopped by Jason Stelter, but outstanding work there by the Puck oh, Buddies. Oh, great save that by Jason. Still in the zone, Devin keeping it in there. Another couple whacks this time by McKenzie, but Here comes Paul they're unable away. to keep it in. Paul now for Puck University, advancing into the zone, passes it up to Vic. Vic will put a nice shot on net, but Sean Rada is there with the cover. Wow, so far you've seen uh, that fact that even though the first shot from Jake has been stopped, the rebound is still there. And either the, the secondary player and or Jake is left alone for the rebound. And that's why we're at right now 2-0 as we speak. Absolutely. So defensive breakdown, you know, again, you gotta keep you gotta stay on Jake and all the uh, the forwards coming in, and that's the reason why early on Puck plays have taken two at the lead so far. Absolutely. Not for lack of trying though no. on the part of Puck University. Again, they put on some quality shots here to start this game. You saw another one there that was Smothered by Sean Rada, but again, Puck University having again. trouble containing Jake, and now Sarav two on one, oh. two on one opportunity. Sarav passed it back, but it was just behind Jake, so no shot generated there. Jake will pass it back to Sarav. He's got a chance, good save. but a good save by Jason Stelter. A hand pass, but because it is into the defensive zone, it is legal. And now finally cleared out by Puck U. And I apologize to our folks out there, I'm just so used to doing play-by-play, -play, so I'm trying not to get Joe in, uh, in the way of Jake Sticker here, so I apologize if I jump in here and there. Jake Ruby with a shot just wide of the net. Now going, going to be picked up by Julia, but Sarav doing a good job forechecking and keeping the play alive for Puck Buddies. It's now going the other way. It is in the neutral zone. Pucky will advance. Another shot, but well wide of the net. Vic will attempt to pick up the rebound. Oh, Seven she puts pass. on a shot that got through to Sean Rada. Another shot attempt, but not enough of the blade of the stick to generate a quality opportunity there. Another shot coming up here, but blocked. Devin now with the puck. Dumps it to the corner for Danielle. Danielle and Vic will battle for it. Sarav helping out there. Still kept in though by Paul, but the second effort by Sarav results it going into the neutral zone. Long shot attempt, no, a long pass rather, by Jason Maxine. He has been known Here to take go. those long shots. Another shot by Jake Ruby, but good job by Jason Maxine and getting back in time and getting in Jake's way. Uh -oh. Some physicality there, they gotta be careful with the body. Exactly. Jason playing a little edgy there. Uh, yep, good call, offsides. And uh, already, you know, you know, Jake has got four or five good chances out there. 
Uh, it's just the pure speed. I mean, I think it's just the pure speed and the break out the other way around. What do you think, Jason? Uh, the speed and the 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 quick shot of Jake. I mean, yes. He's got one of those wristers that that y you you do not expect, you know. And, and it's a, it's got about the strength of a slap shot. So it it not only comes quickly, but it comes with the force of a slap shot. So as a goaltender, you really have to be prepared. And even when you are prepared, he has just outstanding accuracy in placing it in those holes uh, that are not covered up. Absolutely. Sonorata is going to play the puck up here. He gets it to the boards. It is out of the zone, and Sarab will try to move with it. He loses it. Goes to David Altschuler. He will dump it in. Stolen ice by Barb there. That was shot, but it's deflected high over the net. Barb will attempt to retrieve. Centering pass to David. David, though, is a little behind the net, so cannot generate a shot. Peter Doe moving with the puck. Now, Long have, pass up to Stephanie. We do have a late scratch here. Uh, ben Ryder wanted a fine defensive for Puck Buddies. Uh, jammed his knee early in the game, but he played a scramble division, so he's out of this game. So that's a big loss for the Puck Buddies on defense. Absolutely. Ben Ryder, very crucial to the Puck Buddies' success, both defensively and offensively with his shots from the point. Absolutely. So that is a big loss, but Puck Buddies have, uh, have a couple subs in. Mackenzie and Danielle are subbing for uh, Jenny and Cassidy, who I, from what I understand, Louis, are, right? are in the netherworld fighting Cthulhu. <laughs> um, no, you're, you are correct, so they are in St. Louis. For what reason, I don't know, um, but they are there. Morning now, with the puck, trying to battle against Sarav. He gets it behind the net to Nikki D. Nikki D will try and get it past Brad. She does. It is out of the zone. Miles Satter's not able to keep it in. Corey, you two on one. Has some has numbers here. Corey, trying the wraparound. Sean Ryder makes the save. Brian Schlasky bats it down, gets it to Corey. One, oh, back oh. to Barb, but she yes. cannot handle it. Otherwise, a quality opportunity there, but as it stands, it is a missed opportunity. Jake Ruby now advanced with the puck. Another shot, but an outstanding glove save by Jason Stelter, who smothers it and prevents a rebound. The, step of the, uh, the normal goalie for the Puck University, also for the Barbarians in RHL. And also the goalies will be filling in against you, uh, Jason, stick of the night, as the Green Bad Boogies take on the Stingrays. So your chance to scout uh, Jason Stetler before you play better on the night. Uh, absolutely. Uh, that's going to be another quality matchup in our rec division, Suggs. Correct. Um, against the number one Green Bad Boogies and the number three Stingrays. Exactly. Uh, three, so the top uh, team in, in the uh, rec division as well, too. Uh, should be a great game. Uh, Boogies has not lost again. They only have one tie. Stingrays have only one loss and one goal affair, so a great game on top of two. Dick Ruby can't handle the puck. Looks to the sky, but he's recovered nicely. He's got a chance. Holds up, shot, and a save by Jason, who makes himself big, and yes, he, he is to able to he is able to cover it up. Yeah, for, I, right now, Jake is playing like a man possessed. I mean, no one can seem to run with him. No one can seem to guard him out there. Uh, he's playing his own little world out there, and when, when he does that, it's very hard to beat the puck up. Absolutely. We have seen Jake Ruby, another shot there. We have seen him score seven goals in a game. Yes, yes. Uh, just on his own. So yes. we'll see if that happens today. Puck well, that's you. the reason he's the best player in, in DCH and RHL combined. You've seen it one. Yep. Peter Doe keeps it in, but mishandled. Uh, it is out of the zone now. Peter Doe has to wait for his team to touch up. Good job by Brad there and hopping over the puck and not touching it. Brian tried to get to Corey. Peter was in the way. Jake Ruby now will advance it forward. Again, Jake Ruby mishandle, uncharacteristic for him, but Corey will take it the other way. Peter Doe is able to get it out of the zone. Jake is moving. Good poke there by Lauren Lamp and preventing Jake Ruby from advancing any further. Absolutely. Marty now trying, trying to move with the puck, but could not do so. Still along the boards. Good job by Danielle in keeping the puck in. Four puck buddies. This is the first game for Danielle as well, rookie player in DCHL. Sonrata lofts it high into the sky to Jake Ruby. Will this be a goalie assist? No, it will not. Ryan's there. Ryan is there to break up the play and deny Sonrata a potential assist. Oh, Passed almost a home run Devin. pass. Did not work out. Devin with the puck. Gets it up to Brad. Brad gets it to Jake. Jake, nice play off the foot. He will try another shot. Another save by Jason. And now Brad trying to get it back to Jake. He does. Oh, a little shoulder throw in there by Jason Maxty, and the refs will call it, it looks like. Nope, nope. I think that's a whistle behind us. Oh, yeah, a whistle so. behind us. Yeah, we got soccer going behind us, so the whistle came from the soccer fields behind uh, us. Nature playing at the Rockville Sports Flex, ladies and gentlemen. There are several <laughs> other activities exactly. going on. Sometimes oh, it makes, makes things a little difficult for the players. 
Oh, no, shot? No! Good black there by Jason. Play continuing now in the corner. Julia gets it up. And out of the zone. Paul has a chance. He's got numbers. He's got Vic with him. Oh, loose. But a bouncing oh, puck and finally closed up by Sean Rada. Two on one there, and Paul chose to take the shot. Time at the pass. The rebound will still lose, but he couldn't corral in time, and Sean Rada smartly closed his pads to make sure it was secure and keeps the draw in the zone. Again, Puck University has had chances, but Sean Rada exactly. has stood tall thus far. Another shot there by Paul off the faceoff, but it went wide of the net. And now McKenzie gets it up the boards, mishandled by Paul, and that will force it out of the zone and force Puck U to touch up. They are, they are good now. Ryan moving with the puck. Now, puck University, only one of two teams in the DCHL to have beaten Puck Buddies. And they've beaten a similar type game where they were down 2-0, came back to win the game in the last minute, so nothing is over yet. Attempted shot on net there was blocked by Devin. He's going to go all the way back in the Puck, Puck University defensive zone. Goes off of Jake Berube's uh, <laughs> hand and into the uh, little outlet. Corridor there. outlet there. Uh, I was just going to say the fact that uh, it seems that the Puck University has finally calmed down after the two early goals, the early and the first period out there have calmed down. More of an even play as well too, 